Sunday. Our family usually goes to church at 9 a.m. but today we went to the folk service at 11. The folk service has different kinds of music and a regular one. There is a band that plays guitars and stuff like that. Last week mom convinced Roderick to join the folk group and because she got a flyer saying they were looking for a precocious I think Roderick imagined he was going to get play his drums in church, so he signed up. But it turns out the folk group was looking for someone to play hand percussion instruments like tambourine and castanets. Roderick tried to his best to look cool up there in front of church today. But it's really hard to pull that off when you have got a pair of maracas in your hands. I can totally relate to getting pewed into joining something without knowing all the details. Last year, mom told me I should join to the church preteen club, but then I found out they were really lax about qualified as a preteen. Every year, our church does this thing called giving tree where people need to put their requests in an envelope and hang them on the tree then a family picks a random envelope and whatever it says is inside they were supposed to buy as far as i know there were not any rules about who allowed her to put a, a request on a giving tree so i decided to try my luck and fill out a form on my own but something mom told me mom and dad won't approve. So I made sure I could not be traced back to me. Ma- so I wrote, general mail request cash. As much as I are willing to donate, please leave a man money in an unmarked envelope under a recycling bin behind the church. Make sure you are not followed. Monday. This year at school, they taped off a bunch of tables in cafeteria so kids with nut allergies could eat in a separate section. I think it's a great the school did that. But it means there is a lot less room for the rest of us to sit. I'm sure anyone at my school is actually allergic to nuts. Through because for the first two months of this year, the Tapes was taped off area was completely empty, but I guess Ricardo Fredman liked that area of all that elbow room, and because today he plopped himself down into the middle of nut free zone and ate two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches he bought from home. Today we had general assemblies and everyone all excited because they told us we are gonna watch a movie but it was just one of the educational films about healthy eating i know i need to eat healthier but if you take fast food out of my diet i'm big in trouble because i probably something like 95% chicken nuggets. The school has already been cracking down the junk foods in cafeteria. Last week they replaced the soda machine from bottle water machine. But if they are gonna charge a dollar for the bottle of water, they should probably think of the better place to put it. The school also gets rid of bunch of menu items like hot dogs and pizza and replaced with them healthy stuff but they even replace french fries with a, a new item called extreme scotch sticks but it look everyone about five seconds to figure out the extreme sports kids are just lies of r- carrots i usually bring a bagged lunch to school but one thing i would always buy at cafeteria was a chocolate chip cookie last week through chocolate chip cookies were replaced by oatmeal raisin cookies i still buy them but i don't eat round raisins which is a lot of work i can't tell you how many times i have bitten the oatmeal raisin thinking it was a chocolate chip i have theory that oatmeal raisins cookies were invented as a practical joke a long time ago and that they were never actually meant to be eaten so thank you friends meet you tomorrow with part 12 bye